There we go. $1,889 in profit. So right now, guys, on my play, OBCI, I hopped in. I am short 8,000 shares right now. Short 8,000 shares at the price of 782, looking for this to come crashing all the way back on down. All right, so here is my complete P&L, just so you guys can see this. I'm short on OBCI at this time, looking for this to crack through the VWAP and start dumping in a really hard manner. All right, so 8,000 shares. This could be my big play of my Monday. Super excited about this one, and it's going to be jumping a little bit all over the place right now. So I just got filled on this thing, looking for this to come crashing on down. Again, off of patent news, I'm not really a huge fan of this press release, especially just a random spike over lunch hours right here. We do have a very strong resistance line right up towards around $8, $8.10, and I'm looking for volume to dry up. Let's see this volume dry up, and let's see this come you know, right back on down, and that's what I'm ultimately looking for, see the stock start cracking and see the stock start falling. So this is another short play for me. I am short as you guys can see right here, 8,000 shares at the price of 782. All right, this is all off of the old patent press or the patent press release that came out. And if I look at this play, this play doesn't have anything going for it. There has been nothing really going on OBCI this whole entire day and all of a sudden straight up. That's why I think we're going to be coming straight back down. My sell target on this play is going to be if we can crack the VWAP to look to sell back down near around 735. That's where I want to be able to sell this play. Back down towards around the 735 mark and be able to make some nice profit as the stock starts dropping on down. So I want to see the ask you know, start falling and then the bid start falling as well. So we take a look. Let's bring this over. OBCI. So we're kind of all on the same page right here. So the bids right now currently at 778. The ask is at 780. That means people are willing to buy at 778 and people are selling currently at 780. Now, again, we are right next to my entry right around this 8,000 share mark. So where do I have the confidence to get in on this type of play? Where do I have the confidence to tell myself, all right, hey, this could be one that's going to be very nice. And the confidence I have right here is from everything I talked about. We look back in this whole entire day, this stock has done absolutely nothing. I look at this play and I see a straight up move right here. I say to myself, okay, OBC, why? Why is the stock even up? A patent press release? A patent press release isn't that great. A patent press release isn't that strong. So I've been seeing a ton of patents before in my life that shoot straight on up, shoot straight back down. So right here, we're starting to see a little bit more of this red candle. The bid's right now at 775. You know, right now I'm still currently in the red because the ask right now is at 786. So for me to get out of the play, I get out at the ask on the short side. But this is all just from seeing a random pop in lunch hours and trying to convert on it saying, all right, you know what? This is really up for nothing more than a patent press release. I'm going to take advantage of this. All I gotta do is start seeing a couple orders go. Once a couple orders start going here, we're gonna start seeing it tumble over itself. And that's the thing, you know, 760, uh, uh, 776 goes, 775 will go. Then that's gonna really drop down to like 771, and that's when it's gonna start tumbling over itself really hard. And now I'm saying to myself, all right, a little bit of downtrend starting to form, right? Now I can start feeling, you know, much more confident in what I'm looking at as of now. Start saying to myself, all right, you got this downtrend starting to form right here. We have our top resistance up towards around 810. Obviously, that's a little bit of resistance line. Bids are starting to drop. Ask are starting to drop. Now I'm currently in the green, so that's always a great sign to be in the green, right? Resistance getting a little stronger. We got to crack through 775. Let's start tumbling. Let's start tumbling. That's what we want. Ask is starting to drop on down. Ask is getting scared. You know, dropping down towards around 777, 779. Bids are starting to get a little bit nervous. Now, again, I'm starting to make a little bit more money. $392 on the day now over on this 8,000 share short. Now we want to see the bids start retracting. We want to see the bids get pushed back a little bit. Say bids, hey, you know, 773. Ah, uh, you know, I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm going to go 760. I'm going to go 750. I'm going to go 740. The ask keeps building bigger and bigger. So we want to see this keep, you know, just tripping over itself as it starts coming back down even more. Here it goes, 760. There you go. Let's start rumbling, bumbling, dumbling. There we go, down to 766. We're bringing in the profits a little bit more, guys. Here's coming down towards the VWAP. They're coming around the outside, coming down right here. But, 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 little. <laughs> so right now, again, we're just trying to see this thing basically just start dropping even more at this time. Now, again, we got the bids down to 766. Come on. We're going to be coming down a 
little bit more. Just a little bit. This is where my shoulders start to dance. I can't help myself sometimes. And now again, we want to see the bids start dropping down through this VWAP area. So we want to see the bids drop down the VWAP area. You can see I'm currently up 1,000 bucks because the ask is getting a little bit bigger. Now again, the ask is dropping down to 769. The bids are still holding tight though. Bids are still holding tight. Currently up $1,112. The VWAP is our bottom little area right here. VWAP is our bottom area. I'm still in fully on this 8,000 shares and I want to see if there we go 865 we're rumbling dumbling dumbling at this point ladies and gentlemen Woo! it's a roller coaster now so again we're gonna start locking in a little bit of profit locking in a little bit money and there we go there we go one thousand eight hundred and eighty nine dollars in profit one thousand eight hundred and eighty nine dollars in profit i made a fourteen hundred dollar gain just like that and that was off of eight thousand shares on the short <laughs> so that was another great play kicking off my monday right here here is the complete p l on this trade so you guys can see absolutely everything that i did on this play so you guys have everything right here i know i love having a fun time i just enjoy it seeing these plays again work out exactly as predicted and be able to come out on top so obci getting in on these shorts at 786 784 780 786 and then selling it down to 766 60 uh, 765 765 right here so i didn't hold as long as i wanted to but at the same time, profit's profit. I can pat myself on the back right here because I am you know, absolutely correct in my train of thought of what I was thinking on the stock right here. And uh, you know, very happy with what we're still seeing. So look at that drop all the way back on down. OBCI, if I gave it a couple more minutes, you know, we would have saw that. But hey, am I going to complain with a nice you know, almost $2,000 day today? Not at all. $1,889 in profit, playing the stock exactly the way the textbook tells us. And this is all predictable. All predictable patterns, all predictable plays. All we have to do is just be confident. And that's the only thing. So many traders are not confident with themselves, and that's why they end up losing. So we see these little plays pop on up for no reason, short them right back down to the ground. It is easy money. And just like that, guys, I'm coming out on top. So that was a great play. Notice the squeeze pattern right here. If you guys cannot see the squeeze, I'll be happy to show you guys it right here. So we have our, um, as you guys can see, we have the big time spike, right? Big time spike. And then what do we have? VWAP area right here. And then we have the red line right here. So what's going on? If we have a spike and we have a little bit of a pattern, a little bit of squeeze, and the stock is in here getting tighter and tighter and tighter, eventually, boop, it gets that crack right back on down. So that's all that I saw on this play, and that's why I was going to shoot for that 730 mark. But once I started seeing it drop, wanted to lock in as I went. Nice gain, nice profit, followed perfectly. Hey, I got to hold a little bit longer, but you know, 2,000 bucks can't complain.